Hey, Pom Pom Gang, welcome back to another Pom Pom Sisters YouTube channel. If you are new, this is your first video checking out the Pom Pom Sisters, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be subscribed to see all of our, check out our uh, many other videos from uh, natural hair to makeup tutorials to uh, kids uh, natural hairstyles. All that good stuff is on our channel for you guys to check out as well as my alter ego, Handyman Clarence. We are glad to have you. Of course, in this tutorial, I will be showing you guys how I achieve this style and color i have decided to go ahead and let it grow back out i have enjoyed being a baldy babe i will not lie it is just so low maintenance and with all this craziness and the new adjustments with 2020 like i needed this slow pace for me to kind of gather up myself and push myself in other directions and to redirect the energy that was kind of just being wasted because a lot of things had been changed. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial. I first originally started out TWA, eventually shaved it all off and went completely bald, which I really love that look. I've done so many slick down looks, um, but that did not stop me from you know wearing other styles. I also have been wearing faux locks and box braids. Of course, these are wigs because I have no hair, but I am going to go ahead and start my journey of my big top journey from uh, going from this to long and luscious so you guys will see how i pretty much care for my hair um as it's growing from short to long i purchased the dark and lovely hair color kit now i was kind of contemplating back and forth whether or not i wanted to just go ahead and bleach my hair to a blonde but with fall coming up i felt like i would like something more on the auburn honey blonde kind of side now with these kits my hair never comes out the color of the kit it has never came out the color of the kit so i always buy the next to the lightest color that i actually want because that's usually the color that i will get so this color is perfectly fine i absolutely love the color that i got out of that dark and lovely kit Upon opening the box, it comes with a cream developer as well as a rich conditioning hair color. You pretty much just take off the tip of the applicator that you'll be using, remove the top and just add in the hair color, shake it up very well and just begin applying it. Very, very simple steps versus with bleaching, you have to worry about you know, measuring, and I just didn't want to be bothered with that. I just want something that I could be able to throw on, let it sit, rinse it out style. Now in the directions, it does say that you don't have to worry about washing hair before process. I had already washed my hair the night before or that morning, so my hair was just I was just sitting around the house doing nothing. I decided to go ahead and knock out uh, dyeing my hair. So my hair is dry. I just go ahead and start adding it in. Now I start on the top first because that's the longest part of my hair. And of course with my back being faded and my sides being faded, that's not much hair. And the process probably wasn't gonna take, wasn't gonna need an entire 30 minutes for that. So I wanted to make sure that I started on the top where my hair is the thickest and my hair is also the most resi resi resistant to taking color. and I used the entire bottle for my short hair. I didn't need to at all. It wasn't necessary. My hair was coated, but I felt like if I probably only really needed half of that bottle, I went and used the whole bottle. So my hair was saturated. I wanted to make sure I got every coil as much as possible, especially on the top part and the thickest part of my hair. Now, since my hair is so short, I didn't really have to go in and like part it. Oh, that wasn't really necessary, but I did try to like make sure I massaged it in real well, not into my scalp, but just massage it through my hair to make sure that I'm getting every strand and every strand was saturated with the hair color. Once I'm completely done with that process, I'm gonna let it sit for 
30 minutes. I played some music, kind of BS for a little bit, and just waited my 30 minutes. So this is what my hair looked like after the 15 minutes of having it on, and I could see that it was taking to my hair. Of course, I already knew it was not gonna get as light as I wanted, the, as the box was going to be, but it was okay. I just wanted that nice auburn kind of blonde color, especially with fall coming up. I feel like that's the perfect fall cut hair color. Once I let it sit, uh, the directions say before you completely rinse it out that you're supposed to take like lukewarm water and like lather it into your hair before completely rinsing it out. And I did do that. Unfortunately, I did not record it. I thought I recorded it, but when I looked at my camera, I realized I wasn't recording. So you see me with my hair completely rinsed out and I go in with the cream conditioner, which is the third bottle that comes in the box and it is infused with argan oil. It smells really, really good. I really love the smell of this conditioner. So I'm probably going to hold on to this conditioner <laughs> for my next wash day because I really liked how, you know, thick and creamy and how good it smelled. Now the instructions say to leave it in for three to five minutes. Originally I was gonna do that, but I ended up cleaning the house and straightening up here and there. So I probably left it in for about 20, 25 minutes until I finally came back and rinsed it out. So it was all good. I did kind of like a deep conditioner kind of treatment on it. Once I rinsed out all the conditioner, I was done. It was time for us to style these adorable coils of mine. So I wanted to go for like a defined coil as well as get that like baby hair kind of feel going on. My first product, my leave-in conditioner, and I use the leave-in conditioner by Texture ID. My all-time favorite leave-in conditioner. I absolutely love this one. As far as a, it's a heavy cream, if you prefer a more liquid leave-in conditioner, I also have my pretty strands that I use on my girls like all the time. But for me, I prefer a creamy leave-in conditioner because I just want to make sure my hair is conditioned, moisturized. I'm getting as much moisture as possible, especially after doing a chemical process. After I do that, I'm then going to go in with the Pure Flaxseed Gel. It's by Curl Mix. I recently came across these products. I did a wash and go on Kalia and absolutely loved how these products behave with her hair. So it's a nice definition with a soft hold. So if you aren't into the soft hold, you like super, super defined wash and goes, I probably would not recommend this flaxseed gel, but if you like something that gives you a soft hold, still gives you that definition, and not to worry about flakiness and all that, I would definitely recommend this flaxseed gel by Curl Mix. Since my sides are faded, my hair I have type four, a 4b i'm not really too much on the 4c side my hair is nice coils but it's not a tight tight coil so um with my the way my hair grows it grows out straight and then it decides to coil it doesn't come out coily so that's how i know i'm not 4c so the sides that are that aren't faded faded like my back but they're starting to grow out they grow out kind of straight before they finally decide to curl so i have a hard time making sure that i get the definition that i want on the sides of my hair just like the top as you can see the top is very very defined and then you'll come to the side and it's usually very fuzzy looking and i don't i don't like that like i want everything to look as uniform as possible so for my sides and my edges this part that don't really take to my regular creams and gels i go in with the texture id uh foam the best foam ever legit the only foam i will ever use ever use on my hair or purchase for my hair i absolutely love this foam it does great on the girls it has this luscious creamy feeling about it it's not watered down like you can tell it's a legit foam and I just kind of play with my coils to kind of bring them out a little bit um I don't really go in with any brushes or combs to bring out my coils it gives you that hold and it gives you that definition like you know this like a uh, one pump goes a long way for me once I apply that foam it is now time to get into these edges sis yeah so I go in with my super duper huge jar of Eco Styler. I have four heads that use gel in my house. So I do not skimp out on the gel, honey, because I just know 
that I'm gonna be back at the beauty supply store next week buying another jar if I buy a little small jar of it. This is the olive oil shea butter black castor oil and flaxseed gel. I am pretty heavy handed on the gel as well because I want to make sure that it is going to hold up to my baby hairs. Like I said, my hair likes to grow out straight before it finally decides to coil. So those edges can be very, very stubborn as far as laying them down. Of course, once they get longer, they'll be a lot easier as far as styling. But since they're still short, they they just don't lay. They stick out and they don't lay down. I just go in with my little toothbrush and I do my little waves, my little finger waves and get it to how I like it. Once that is all complete, I'm then gonna go in with one of those little paper sheets. I go in with one strip and I lay it right on the edge of my baby hairs and let that sit for 10 to 15 minutes, depending on, you know, how much time I have to kind of BS around and play around with my hair. But I try to leave it on for at least 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll take it off. The foam will not be completely dry after that. You will still see some white residue, but of course throughout the day it will dry or you can just zap it real quick with a blow dryer on cool air. That is, um, about it that's that's pretty much it for this twa super defined coily 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 look that i love to do on my twas and this is my go-to style throughout the week of course i like to do my slick back looks as well where i slick it down do my throwback jada picket look i've done plenty of videos on those so if you want to check those out you can just hit the link down in the description bar you can check out those many other videos if you are new to our channel and you're still hanging out in this tutorial thank you sis go ahead and join the game pom pom sisters and check out our other videos as well hit that subscribe button thank you for thank you so much for joining us on our tutorial but i appreciate you guys being here with us today i greatly appreciate it be blessed and be safe and we'll see you all on our next video